Hi, my name is Avu and I'm going to be teaching you about horseshoe crabs. Horseshoe crabs are pretty unusual creatures. They have a head, which is their main part. They have an abdomen, which is this little part. Then they have a tail. This, these spikes are for their defenses. And so that would be if some kind of fish was trying to like eat them. They, they, the shell would also be protection from that, but the spikes would kind of be painful for the fish, I guess. And the tail is useful if they, if, let's say the wooshy crab got flipped over. If they didn't have a tail, they couldn't flip themselves over. But if they did have a tail, they could somehow prop themselves over. I have no idea how they do it. Yeah, so they would somehow prop themselves over. So as you can see, there's definitely two eyes right here. There's an eye there, there's an eye there. But there's actually ten eyes. This is the two eyes, so two. Then there's going to be two here, three, four. Then if you flip it over, there's going to be uh, two more in this little area. And there's going to be a few more in this area. And then that would make it so they have ten eyes. The eyes down here would be make it so would they know what they're eating because you wouldn't want to be eating something and you don't know what it is. So and these eyes would probably be for predators. And these eyes would probably be for more like not bumping into things, I guess. And so, yeah. So if they are laying their eggs, let's say this is low tide. If this is low tide, and if this is high tide, they're going to lay their eggs uh, three or four feet below high tide. And so they're going to call up there from low tide and they're going to lay their eggs there. They're, then they're going to go back and then they're going to let their baby hatch. And the babies are going to go back during high tide. And they're going to get into the ocean, just like this. And yeah, so another the, one of my facts, my final fact is that we have um, iron in our blood, which makes our blood red. But horseshoe crabs have copper in their blood, so the copper makes them cell in the. I mean, not copper. Yeah, copper in the blood. So the copper makes the blood blue. So if so, let's say if um, it got cut, blue blood would come out instead of red blood. So that would just be kind of weird. And that's the final fact I'm going to leave you with. So until next time, thank you for watching.